When it comes to streaming, there's two real ways to mount your microphone. You can either use a desk stand, and if you feel extravagant, a telescoping arm, or you can use a microphone boom arm. So many of you have seen these live on streams. Now, these come with a little bit of disadvantages. One, you have a mic stand where you can adjust your microphone, but if you go too far, you get a little bit of a physics issue. If you go with the microphone boom arm, you can extend it out pretty far, but unfortunately though, you do have to C-clamp it into something, and that can cause its own set of issues. What if you can merge both worlds, get the best of both scenarios, and really kind of make your stream mo the most mobile possible it can be? Well, let me introduce you guys to the Little Rex microphone boom arm. A mobile boom arm, while not the prettiest looking thing, is definitely the most utility driven thing I could possibly think of to fix my problem. Media GC 550 capture card gives you 1080p, 60fps, uncompressed recordings, and a USB 3.0 external device. Compatible with all consoles, you'll never have a problem getting the live stream you want. Click now to learn more. So for this project, I took an existing microphone desk stand that I had and a boom arm I had laying around. And I noticed that, well, if I could attach the boom arm to the stand, I could actually move it in theory. Now, there was a small hiccup, as when you took off the top of this, you found that it did have a solid top. Now, with some other desk stands, you'll find that they have a hollow core. If that's the case, you can just drop this thing right in and call it good. If not, you can go to your local hardware store and pick up one of these 3x4x3 Gavitron Tridons. I'll put the link in the description down below. And then you'll also need a thing of plumber's putty to kind of just make it more rigid so it doesn't just flop around on the inside there. And of course, as you guys can see, there is three five pound weights. As we mentioned at the beginning, there's that aforementioned physics issue where if you go too far out, the whole thing will tip over. Not if you add 15 pounds of extra weight. So I know you're thinking, Rex, this is gonna make your project awfully expensive. Well, the metal bit here is two bucks. The plumber's putty is about five bucks. And the 15 pound weights will run you anywhere between seven and a half dollars and fifteen dollars. So, all in all, you're looking at about 20 bucks worth of materials. Plus, hey, if you ever really get bored, you can sit on your desk and get a good solid pump in. Yeah, feel the gains. So, how do we do this? Well, you want to start by taking your metal bit and fitting it on the correct way. As it is, it will only go on it will only go on properly on one side. Now you can find these at your local hardware store. They're located in the plumbing department. So if you have trouble looking for it, like I said, in the description down below, you can find the name of the part that I used here. Now you'll also have to go to the painting department and get some putty, which shouldn't be too bad. And it will be white, so if you wanna dye it, you can. But don't forget, it's on the inside, so it doesn't really matter. Now, let's start. You start by taking apart your microphone desk stand. It should unscrew from the bottom. Add on your three five pound weights and screw it back into the top. Now, once you've done a test fit of your metal bit with your microphone boom arm to make sure you have the right size and all that, take the microphone boom arm out and take your plumber's putty in, or I'm just gonna keep calling it plumber's putty, I'm sure it's called something else, and pack it in to both ends of the pipe. Now, while you actually don't need to do this in theory, it is good to do so because as you cram it down, it will force up the putty and you can actually get a nice even drop point for where you want to put the arm in and not have it overflow. Once you do that, drop your microphone boom arm in and you should be good to go. Now, I was just as shocked as you guys when I made this project that the microphone added so much weight. But if you do remember basic physics from high school, I, you can't be that surprised. When you put something on an extension lever, it will tend to pull forward. I just really underestimated the power of the base on this. So I'm glad I had these plates lying around. 
You can get the plates at your local Walmart. They're, like I said, between seven and a half dollars and 15 bucks. But that's really how you do it. Now that you have a mobile microphone arm, if you wanna move it closer, you can from two different sides and not really have to worry about how it's gonna be. You can get that nice, deep, rich sound that everyone on Twitch is so anxious to hear. So, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. And guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I've been Rex, and I will see you next time. Bye.